Good morning, Grade 1B. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Uh, today we're going to start Lesson 17. We have already finished Lesson 16. And so let's start Lesson 17. I'll start with the grammar kinds of sentence. So I want you to bring your practice book, uh, a pencil and an eraser and keep it with you until we finish. I will ask you to open your book and answer some questions with me. Let's start with kinds of sentence. Okay, we had before that there are two kinds of sentence. What are the two kinds of sentence that we took before? Yeah, statement and question. Very good. So, let's start. Okay, what is the statement? Statement is a telling sentence. If I'm telling someone something or someone is telling me something, this is a statement. And we should start our statement with capital letter and ends it with period. Very good. That's how I know that this is a statement. So I have three things here to know that my sentence is a statement. It must start with capital letter, ends with period, and tells me something. If it's a question, it's not going to tell me. It will ask me. And you must answer. So the statement must tell you something. So as here in the first sentence, the ship sailed across the ocean. The ship sailed across the ocean. Is he asking you a thing here or is he just telling you? Yeah, he's telling you that this ship sailed across the ocean. Very good. It starts with capital letter, ends with period. Very good. And when my sentence starts with capital letter and ends with period, that means it's a statement. Now let's look here at the asking sentence or question sentence. I can call it asking or question. Why it's a question? Because it's asking you something. Like, I have here some words. We call them question words. I must start my question sentence with one of them. Like these here. Who? I can ask with who. What? When? If I'm asking about time. Where? If I'm asking about Place. Very good. Why? If I need to know something, and you answer must be with a word because. Very good. So why? Why you are there? Because I want to do anything. You can answer anything. Okay. How? Did. Do. Will. Would. Could, is, and there are more, but here are some of them. Okay, so if my sentence starts with a question word and ends with a question mark, that means it's a hmm, question sentence. Very good. Now, let's start here and see the difference between each one. And I want you to think with me. I will wait until you think and tell me your answer. I have here some sentence and you will tell me if it's a question sentence or statement sentence. The first one here. The boy is mad. The boy is is mad. Look at the boy here. He looks really mad or angry. Okay. Now, 
The boy is bad. Is this sentence telling you something or asking you? Hmm. I'm asking you here or just telling you? The boy is mad. I'm telling you. The boy is mad. So, I start here with the boy. And the boy here is the question word? No, it's not a question word. If it's not a question word, so this is not a question sentence. But if my first word here is a noun, because boy here is a noun. Why? Because what are the nouns? People, animal, place, thing. And boy here is people. Very good. Now, it's just person. So, I start here and said, the boy is mad. The boy here, yeah, it's a noun. And this sentence is telling me something. So, this sentence is a huh, question or statement. Statement. Very good. Excellent. Now, let's go to the next sentence here. What color is the bus? What color is the bus? Hmm. Can you answer this one? Yeah, it's red. Or, as I can see it here, it's pink. Very good. Now, if you can answer it, so it's a question sentence or a statement? And you can answer. Huh? Question. Very good. Because when I'm asking someone something, I must find the answer. So, what is the color of the bus? What color is the bus? This is a question. So, I start here with capital letter ends with question mark and it's asking me so it's a question sentence very good the next sentence the duck wait again okay the duck quacks a lot the duck quacks a lot hmm the duck here, is it a question word? The duck? No. So, is it a noun? Yes, it's a noun. So, when I start my sentence with a noun, that means it's a question or statement. Statement. And what else? The duck quacks a lot. Is he asking you here or telling you? Yeah, he is telling me. The dog quacks a lot. Very good. So, I start here with capital letter. Ends with period. And this sentence is telling me something. So, it's a statement. Very good. Okay, the next sentence. Where is the hidden? Where is the hidden? Yeah, the hidden is in the box. I'm asking you, where is the hidden? Can you see the hidden? It's in the box. Very good. Now, because you can answer this one, so it's a question or a statement? Question. Very good. And what else? I have here, where. And where here is a question word. Very good. So I start my sentence with a capital letter and with a question word. And... My sentence here ends with question mark. 
So it's a question sentence. Very good. Excellent. The last one here. The blue bird sings loudly. The blue bird sings loudly. The blue bird here. Is it a question word? No. Is it a noun? Hmm? What are the nouns? People. Animal. Yeah, a bird here, it's an animal. Very good. So it's a noun. And when I start my sentence with a noun, can it be a question or statement? Statement. Very good. I start here with capital letter. Ends with period. And this sentence is telling me something. It's telling me that the blue bird sings loudly. So it's a statement sentence. Very good. Now I want from you to bring your book and open page 19. I'm waiting here. Page 19. Okay. Question number one. Draw a line under the correct sentence in each pair. I have here two sentences and just one is correct. Okay, so we're going to choose just one sentence. Number one, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? The next one, where are we going? They are the same, but just one is correct. So, where here? I start here with where. Where here? Is it a question word or not? Where? Yeah, it's a question word. So, this is a question sentence. He is asking you, where are we going? Where are we going? So, I must end this sentence with period or question mark very good because of where here and because this sentence is a question sentence i must end it with question mark so this one is the correct sentence i will leave this one or i can just cross it out like this number two a boat is fun. A boat is fun. Now, can you tell me a boat here? Is the question word? Like who, where, when, why, what, which, is, does, did, no. So, a boat here, is it a noun? Yes, because Huh? People, animal, play, thing. And boat here is a thing. Very good. Now, I start here with a noun. And when I start with a noun, this is question or statement? Statement. Now, let's have a look here. A boat is fun. Is he asking you here or just telling you? A boat is fun. Hmm. He's telling you. So, this is a statement. So, I must put period or question mark. Period. Very good. So, this one is the correct sentence. You can cross this one out. Number three. When will we go? When will we go? Hmm. What do you think? I have here 
when. And when here is it a question word? Yeah, it's a question word. So this one is a question sentence. So which one is the correct? The one with the period or the question mark? Very good, the question mark. So I want you to put a circle around the question word here and underline the sentence. Number four, where is your bike? Where is your bike? Hmm. What do you think? He's telling you or asking you? Where is your bike? He's asking you. Okay, what is that question word? Where? Very good. Where? So I must put period or question mark? Question mark. So here is the question word and this sentence is the right sentence. Okay, number five. Planes are fast. Planes are fast. What do you think? Is he telling you here or asking you? Yeah, he's telling me. Planes are fast. Planes are fast. He's just telling me that the planes are fast. So, this is a statement or a question? Statement. It doesn't start with question word because planes here is a noun. It's a thing. So, it's a statement. It must end with period. Very good. So, this is the correct one. Let's go to the next question. Write the correct in mark to finish each sentence. So we will have just to put a mark at the end of each sentence. Period or question mark. Let's read number six. Can we go out to play? Can we go out to play? Hmm. Can you answer this one? Can we go out to play? Yes, we can. Or, no, we can't. So, I can answer it. And if I can answer the sentence, this is a question. Very good. And then here is a question word. So, circle can because it's a question word. What should we put here? Question mark or a period when it's a question word sentence? Question mark. Very good. Number seven. Tim lost his map. Tim here is a boy. So Tim lost his map. Can you answer this one? No, you can't. Because he's just telling you that Tim lost his map. So this is a question or a statement? Statement. I start here with Tim and Tim is a noun. So I will put here period. Very good. Number eight. Will your friend come? Will your friend come? Can you answer this one? Yes, he will. Or I can say, no, he won't. So, this one is a question. Because I have here, will. Will is a question word. And I will put here, if it's a question sentence, question mark. Very good. Okay. Um, today we have finished our lesson. Okay. 
I will answer uh, another time um, the next page. Um, if you have any question about this lesson, I want you to write to me uh, on Facebook. You can ask any question that you want, I and I will answer all your questions. Thank you so much, and goodbye.